Okay, uh, this is a really exciting period in the in the build. We've just got uh, the the first few of our uh, roof rafters up, and uh, so you can see the shape of the house beginning to take form. Um, and it's uh, obviously really exciting because we get to see what we've been building towards. Um, the you can see that there's a, a what we're calling a temporary ridge beam, which runs from this end of the house to the, to the very far end of the house. We're using that as basically a temporary support, and it's just there to to make sure that all of our um, that all of our cross pieces come out exactly the same. We've got really straight walls in all those dimensions. It'd be very hard to do that if we were trying to do all of that working in space unsupported. So. Um, We've got one thing we should mention is we're using two by eights because that's what we got off the teardown, recent teardown that we're building this house from. So a two by six would no doubt be sufficient, but um, we've got two by eights. We hate to rip two by eights because it's a waste of good wood. So uh, we've chosen to just keep them as two by eights. Um, the, what you, what's difficult to see from this end is uh, we've cut a uh, little what what are called bird's mouth in the top uh, and the bottom of both of the two pieces and the bird's mouth essentially just that uh, piece of wood wants to sit at an angle and all this all the bird's mouth is, is a little relief cut there so that the board sits flat on the on the rafter we'll get some still photos of that and I uh, think that'll be self-explanatory so we've done that on uh, the top plate over there and the top plate over there we've not done that on the temporary ridge line because uh, we're going to be pulling that out and we want that to be a perfectly uh, sharp and crisp angle. Um, I think that covers it for the, this stage. Uh, we're going to be doing some fill in so at the moment we've just done the first few. This gives us the shape and it holds our ridge line in place. Now we can fill in and we're going to do uh, these rafters on 16 inch centers just like we've done our studs and then we'll have our roof structure pretty well complete. The final step of, of the roofing is putting blocking uh, between the 16 inch rafters and the blocking is going to fasten them and make sure that our rafters uh, don't turn over. Because of the arch, the rafters uh, are higher, their, their center of gravity is higher than their strength. So it would be possible for them to fall over like a, like a uh, bunch of dominoes. But when we put the blocking in, the blocking will prevent that. They'll actually be fixed in together and they won't be able to, to lay over like that. We've also got the strength of the end walls. The end walls will be framed after we get the roof rafters in. So by the time we get the end walls and all that blocking in, and then finally the decking uh, on both faces, that, will, that whole structure is gonna be very, very strong.